attention Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen T. Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The Dance of Investiture will take place without delay. The renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal physician, I... You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, sir. what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, 
She still makes a striking portrait, but I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Yeah, you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do, mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. The Boyle Costume Ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
Seers were passing and they had one of their, you know, the music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and, and they thought she was a witch. You should have seen Last year, Waverly threw a garden party. Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happening. Yes, they're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their invitations, fancies. please. I suppose. No choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, right this then way, you sir. should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Farrell takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we need her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty... Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well. Never doubt it. Yes. Pendleton? <clears throat> mm -hmm. hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton mm -hmm. is a gutless lying sack of shit. Paying you well for this. Hurry up. Most of the guests are inside. Might be best if you join. The them. party's indoors this time. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Allow me.
Welcome to the Royal Estate. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estervants pay top Indeed. coin. Indeed, I believe so. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brand new. Please enjoy yourself. I hope you're not lost, inside. sir. You'll find everything inside. I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. Bless you. No, no, please! Fire! Uh, clear the line! Stand clear! No! I need some The man you ended was a friend of the fucking jackass. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
sing that evening in the garden, but she lost her voice right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of their... you know. The mute... Wait! Oops! Stars. See something? To me! A promotion for the... Oh, this one! right at the start. And that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing and they had one of their... you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. Everyone's dies. Waverly threw a go. Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase out. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on, once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we meet her out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would, and we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma's style, or lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Well, life is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. My damn, I want some wine. Invitation, please.
Right this way, sir. Pendleton? Is that you? Are you looking forward to the party? Look at that mask. Sick bastard. Another party game. Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. Lord Pendleton's representative made. will select his weapon. Contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? Think you'll get your own squad after what happened? Indeed, I believe so. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. The party's indoors this time. Mm -hmm. I hear the whole second floor is off limits tonight. Too many guests walking off with their valuables. Are you going to be playing the Boyle's game? Hello. The Boyle's hope you have a... Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the watch to impress people. Your obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end? That's quite a mess. Things are bad. Are you on Could the guest city get any worse? Chances are very good. Are you trying to guess which one is which? I was thinking of sneaking upstairs to look for clues. Or would that be cheating? Try Miss White in the moth mask. I hear she's low. Beat it! We shouldn't be here. Ugh, you smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? Welcome to the party. Lydia, Waverly, Esma, White, Black, Red. There has to be a clue upstairs as to who's who. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. You? 
and gentle? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need Welcome to be in any given situation. Seat. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer. <laughs> Bless you. Evening, sir. You should see this as an opportunity. Hold on. Cigar. Doing all right there? If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. I'm sure I can get you a good price. You son of a bitch. There's the old pirate spirit. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty... <laughs> I beg your pardon. Please, do you one mind not in red, us? One in white, one in black. I'm stumped. My wife thinks we should sneak upstairs to look for clues. Yes, sir, advised to limit their enjoyment to the ground floor. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. Sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere. Don't Should know. Should we gather for whiskey the and cigars tonight? Of Indeed. Of money this past so. century makes you wonder if those rituals were. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much for a while. Oh, nasty! Look, Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Anything you need, sir. Welcome to the party. Fuck! Disgusting! Pretty nasty rat. Get away. Please move along. What a deliciously sinful mask. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. this point. Keep your distance, sir. <clears throat> Do 
doing all right there? as we have the size. size.
Yes, of course. Chances are very good. Is it? It's tacky for a hostess to drink. Someone should tell Esma. What? 
Why? Who sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. But I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. Enjoy, my darling. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. He'll make us great again. Excuse me. Lord Brisby has arrived. Delightful. saw him too. An unfortunate lapse of taste.
people don't remember is no excuse me excuse me oh leave him be it's a party this private is something is well what is it sure you're on the guest list. What? Why? Who sent you? I'll walk with you. Now what is this about? Will you want to I join us for hunting we'll next year in too. the month of wind? for a scandal. I'll only go so far with you before you explain. three of us for the cameo. You're not at a jewelry shop. You'll see the cameo if you win it. What? Why? Who sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. But I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. Great. Excuse me.
Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I suppose she had to go, supporting a tyrant, the Lord Region, and living in opulence while the people of the city starve to death and live in fear of plague. What choice did you have?
I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You did it. And now we've done away with a woman and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style and add some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. 